y equals negative x minus 5. Plot the graph of the line y equals negative x minus 5. Determine the slope of the line. What is the y-intercept? What is the x-intercept? To plot the graph, we need two points. If you know something is a straight line, we only need two points to draw the graph. How do you know it is a straight line? This is a linear equation in x, so we expect it to be a straight line with constant slope. To plot the graph, we need two points. How do we get those two points? Well, first you choose x equals 0. So y equals negative x minus 5. Again, write everything as before. And in the space occupied by x, you substitute 0. Do not forget, negative is as good as negative 1 times 0. So this is 0 minus 5, and that is negative 5. So what is our point? When x equals 0, y equals negative 5. When x equals 0, y equals negative 5. To get the second point, again, we just like that, without any reason, we just choose x equals negative 2. We leave everything as before except put a space for x, and that space we substitute negative 2 for x. What is negative of negative 2? Positive 2, and then we have negative 5, and so it is negative 3. So when you substitute negative 2 for x, we get negative 3. Do not forget, it is an ordered pair. x comes first, y comes second. So our second point is negative 2, negative 3. Negative 2, negative 3. We now have two points. Join those, and we get the line. To draw a straight line, we only need two points. First point is 0, negative 5. So we go with 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And then negative 2, negative 3. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. All right. So we join those two points and we have the line. So 0, negative 5 negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. 0, negative 5, and negative 2, negative 3. This is negative 2, and this is negative 3. How do we get the slope from equation of the line? So our equation is y equals negative x minus 5. And that is as good as negative 1x minus 5. And that is as good as negative 1 times x plus negative 5. So compare this equation with y is equal to mx plus b, and immediately you see that m is equal to negative 1. And what is b? b is negative 5. So that's what I did here. Negative x minus 5. Negative x is the same as negative 1 times x minus 5. When you compare the two, you see it is mx plus b. So what is m? Negative 1. What is b? Negative 5. So if we get m equals negative 1, b equals negative 5. What are our two points? When you put x equals 0, we get negative 5. When you put x equals negative 2, we get negative 3. How do we solve for the y-intercept? We have y equals negative x minus 5. y-intercept, 
where does the graph touch the y-axis? On the y-axis, x is equal to 0, right? On the y-axis, x is equal to 0. So we write everything as before. And in the space occupied by x, we substitute 0. And this whole thing is 0, minus 5, and that is negative 5. So what do we get? 0, negative 5. 0, negative 5. How about the x-intercept? Again, we start with the equation of the line. So for this particular line, where does the graph touch the x-axis? On the x-axis, on the x-axis, what do you know? On the x-axis, y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0. So you substitute y is equal to 0 and solve for x. So negative x minus 5. Add 5 to both sides. So you get negative x equals 5. Multiply both sides by negative 1 and you get negative 5 equals x. So x equals negative 5. So what is our x intercept point? Negative 5. x comes first. y comes second. Negative 5, 0. So y intercept, I set x equals 0 and solve for y. And that is 0, negative 5. For x intercept, I set y equal to 0 and solve for x. And I get that. So do not forget, for one last time, let me say this again. On the x-axis, on the x-axis, y is equal to 0. On the x-axis, y is equal to 0. On the y-axis, x is equal to 0 on the y-axis x is equal to 0 because if you are to the right or to the left x is non-zero and this is the graph that we get when x equals 0 you have negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 negative 5 when x equals 0 y equals negative 5 so our point is 0, negative 5. Our x-intercept point is negative 5, 0. So negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So this is negative 5, 0. So we have the x-intercept point, the y-intercept point, so we have all, we have accounted for all the points. We have a straight line and we also have the slope. What is our slope? Negative one. When we go from left to right, one, two, three, four, five. When we go from left to right by five, we go up or down, we come vertically down by five. So our slope is negative 1. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.